Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to download and install Microsoft Silverlight on your Macintosh computer. So pretty straightforward. We're going to start by opening up a web browser here and into Google or whatever search engine you want. I'm going to just use Google in my example. I'm going to type in Microsoft Silverlight and then you want to select for Mac from the menu. Microsoft Silverlight and then you want to hit enter. One of the first options on the page should say get Silverlight and then Microsoft Silverlight right next to it. it should have a Microsoft domain here so it should say www.microsoft.com. You want to left click on that. Left click on the button where it says click to install. Depending on what web browser you're using, the download icon might be a little bit different. Since I'm using Safari, I'm going to just click go up to the Downloads button at the top right. Looks like it's about a 15 megabyte download, so I'm going to left click to open that up. I'm going to minimize out of our web browser. It's currently opening up the Silverlight file. There's a package, we're going to open it up. I believe I might have clicked it twice, so I'm going to close out of one of them. Now we just have one. It says, Welcome to the Microsoft Silverlight Internet Browser Plugin Installer. You will be guided through the steps necessary to install the software. Click on Continue. You want to accept the license by clicking on Continue. Must agree to the terms, so click on Agree. Take up 36.5 megabytes of space on your computer. Click on install. You might have to enter your administrative password on your device to proceed. And it shouldn't take very long. It's set on the website in only about 30 seconds. So pretty quick. And we can see the installation was successful. So at this point I'd recommend closing out of your web browser and restarting it and then trying to get on any applications or websites or videos or whatnot you're having issues with and see if the plugin installation has resolved your problem. Uh, please note that when you're finishing up this installation you might get a prompt saying if you're sure you want to move the package to the trash. Um, it really doesn't matter, you can always go back and download it again later. So I'm going to actually move it to the trash. No point in cluttering up our desktop or downloads folder. So pretty straightforward guys and I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.